Hello guys and this is your friend Mercy coming back to you with another video. So in this video I want to talk about something else, about something different. So I started this YouTube, I um, want to talk, uh, I started this YouTube uh, some, somewhere in um, somewhere in August last uh, 2021, right? So uh, I started it, I uploaded a couple of videos, I think I uploaded 35 since when I, uh, after I started I uploaded about 35 videos. One of them was an element, an elemental video whereby I was showing people how to basically uh, install Elementor in WordPress for free. I was showing them, I was showing people how to install Element, Elementor Pro for free on, 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 on WordPress and that was one of my uh, most viewed videos, right? So, is it, so it was one of my most viewed videos, the second most viewed was this one, but that one was definitely the the, the 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 most viewed the one that got the most views right so to my surprise i got busy and stuff uh because i actually have a job and uh, you know i didn't have time to actually um, upload more videos but recently i decided okay i'm gonna go back to my channel and then i'm gonna start working on the channel again but when I logged in, something, I saw something, I saw this. I got a strike, right? <laughs> Channel violation, active uh, copyright strike. When I click it, I open it. Oh, okay, one strike, blah, blah, blah. Your video was removed from YouTube. Your channel received a strike. If you get three a strike, your account along with any will be subject to termination. Oh, okay. Who did, who did strike me? So I check here and then I see content removed by Elementor LTD. Right, so the Elementor company came and then they did a thing. They said, good, we're gonna, uh, this video is gonna have to be removed uh, because of copyright I know this video was created by myself and there is no copyright there so my understanding is they didn't like the fact that I was showing people how to um, uh, do this which was get Elementor Pro for free basically they didn't like it and because the video was going very viral they decided to, to, to strike so basically right so and uh so this is it and the guy will strike me i've got this email i'll show you this guy here so this is the guy i made from element okay no problem so this is the email address from which we received the takedown complaint so he complained and then YouTube decided to take that video down and then uh, so they gave me some uh, directions so what you can do do nothing strike expires after 90 days as long as you complete the copyright school request retractation submit counter um, notification okay all right so i took the i took the i watched these videos that i watched the, so i'm gonna I'm, i want to take it um i want to answer some uh some of these questions after because i've already watched this one so i'm gonna answer them so the following item may be protected by copyright music call works videos photographs all above all above because of what i've had 
in this video okay deleting a video that was removed for copyright will get rid of the associated uh, will get rid of will get rid of um, I believe uh, copyright now this is false if I intentionally file a false notice of alleged copyright infringement against YouTube video just for fun or to cause trouble I could be found liable for any damage cost Yes, this is true. Fair use is, is, is legal defense that applies to all countries. Uh, I believe, no, I believe this is the US that are aware. <laughs> can be sued and found liable for monetary damages. You could lose your booty. Yeah. Or worse, you could lose your YouTube account. You uh oh, you're making a video of Lumpy's live performance of his reuse of Lumpy's content is clever use. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account circumstances of fair use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. Okay, as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright for the work as a whole and the effect of the use upon the determination of fair use taken into account the purposes of fair use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. Okay, I also have this... Uh this uh, I've got I've got one thing that I had opened here I think is it bookmarked uh, rebookmark Okay, there you go. Uh, so, YouTube copyright, um, if I intentionally uh, copyright infringement against a YouTube video just for fun, this is true. So, this is what I did here. So, this is fine. Deleting a video that was removed from for copyright will get rid of the associated now. This is false. If intentionally this is true, okay, because this guy is also saying it's true. Okay, so this is so fair use okay this is this one i will have to check maybe fair use okay cool fair use <coughs> fair use is a legal defense that applies in whole country okay it says false here so i'm just gonna uh no wonder they say in the united states okay cool so this is fine this is fine deleting Okay, maybe let me confirm this. Uh, let me just take like this. All right. So this is false. Okay, it's false. Uh, 
This one is cool. I believe that. Uh, no way. Okay. Cool. So, the following. Okay. Copy and paste. Let's confirm all the above. All the above. So I'm sorted out here. This one is confirmed. It's just to use the USA. Alright, let's confirm again that we did already. Okay, false cool. So I can check the answers. So this is how you basically uh, respond to this. Um I'll leave the link to this in the description so you can check it out. Check answers. Everything is correct. Done. So remember they said what to do. Do nothing. Strike expires after 90 days. 3 months. As long as you complete the copyright thingy. So, uh, I've done that. But I think I should request retractation also. Or this. actually submit this this one because why not submit counter notification okay by filing a counter notification you're beginning a legal process a counter notification is a legal uh, request for youtube to reinstate video that has been removed for alleged copyright infringement your personal information may be shared with the complaint. If YouTube determines that your content notification is valid, we will forward its entire content to the claimant, including your personal information. They may use this information to file lawsuit against you to keep the content. So I, <laughs> I'm guessing that I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go that route of legal legal stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm just gonna rely on this. Do nothing. Stock expires after 90 days. So that's good enough. Um, yeah. I'm also not gonna contact them. So it's fine. I have done the copyright school, which is good. So after 90 days, it's gonna go away. Great. So this is how you do it. So the 90 days will be on the 24th of September. So that's how you do this. And uh, yeah. So uh, these guys, these big companies, they don't want you to do um, this type of stuff. You know, where you show people how to get their product for free. So yeah. That's how, where I'm finding myself. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And um, subscribe, like. Uh, if you've got a comment, please leave it there on the comment section. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks. Bye.